draw the Lewis structure for CLF4. Whenever I'm drawing the Lewis structure, the first thing I need to do is determine the number of valence electrons I have in my molecule. So I have chlorine, which has seven valence electrons, and I have fluorine, which also has seven, and there are four of them. So I have a total of 35 electrons. The first thing I'm going to do is draw my chlorine as my central atom, and draw the four single bonds to each of the fluorine atoms to have my skeletal structure. I've used up eight of my electrons. I'm going to start by filling in the octets around my terminal atoms until I run out of electrons or until all of the terminal atoms have an octet. Now that I've filled up all of my terminal atoms octets, I see that I had a total of 35 electrons. I've used 32. I have three electrons remaining, and so those are going to go on the central atom. So it looks a little odd to have that electron all by itself, but it's perfectly fine. This has an odd number of electrons. We saw that when we looked at our initial electron count. So no matter how we arrange those electrons, we are never going to have every single atom with a complete octet. And that's okay. We don't see this very often. In fact, usually when we see CLF4, we actually see CLF4 minus, which would have 36 electrons, and therefore our Lewis structure there would have a complete, um, a complete pair of electrons.